Well, my family's been involved in the arts uh, all my life, and I'm very proud of my father who's a trustee emeritus of the MIA, and, and that my son Eric is also a trustee there. And I was on the board of the Walker back uh, when the Picasso exhibition came to Minnesota, which I deserve no credit for, but I, I said it was like going to the Super Bowl you know, for your rookie year to have that come then. So um, I'm very proud of the members of my family who've been in the leadership in so many parts of the arts in Minnesota. I have an iPod. I have 302 songs. I'm very eclectic, everything from the Beatles and the Rolling Stones to uh, Pachelbel Cannon and the Hallelujah Chorus. As a United States Senator, I was strongly supported the National Endowment for the Arts, National Endowment for the Humanities. I, I have opposed the attempts of the, the right-wing ideologues to put uh, inappropriate restrictions on that funding and, and limit artistic expression. But, you know, most of it comes down to funding, and of course I give great credit to the the arts community in Minnesota for helping to pass the legacy amendment that was crucial and uh, I would as governor want to continue to expand the, that scope of funding and the state funding so that we can continue to make arts available for every child in Minnesota and every adult. In There's the same way that we, 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 we build upon the shoulders of those who preceded us and, and, and those who have preceded the next governor have made a phenomenal contribution to our state by passing the legacy amendment and ensuring that that funding would be additional funding for the arts throughout the state. Uh, I'd like to build on that and I'd especially like to be encouraging the, the opportunities for artistic involvement for every child and every youth and every adult in Minnesota. I think you know, that arts education and arts uh, community arts uh, programs and projects that involve people and give people exposure to the arts in all of their different forms is really crucial. Yes, I do. You know, this was a constitutional amendment passed by the people of Minnesota. Uh, the people of Minnesota voted to raise their own sales tax in order to support uh, these programs. And with all due respect to the legislature, this is not the legislature's money, this is the people's money. And uh, I believe that the, that dedicated funding should be there, that the uh, State Arts Board as well as the Regional Arts Councils are crucial to assuring that uh, money does go all over the state. That's the infrastructure that's been established to assure that arts reach every community in Minnesota. It's done a remarkable job over the last couple of decades. It should be supported, it should be continued, and if, frankly, the legislature should keep its hands off of the people's money. Well, the arts are just crucial in, in, in all of our lives, and even though I don't have artistic talent, I, I'm a great appreciator of the arts and music and color, and, uh, and you know, I think it adds so much. And, so I would, as governor, want to encourage the, the reach of our, outreach of arts to every community in Minnesota, to every person in Minnesota, so that the, their lives can be enriched by exposure to artistic creation, support those artists in Minnesota and their own creations, and, and let's make Minnesota the arts capital of the country and the world.